We've reported to you how difficult it's become to get a COVID test on short notice with at home rapid tests nearly impossible to find. But more and more testing sites are appearing across the mid state. Our Brian Munoz spent the day at one of those sites in Lancaster County. He joins us now live. Brian. Getting tested is still no easy task, but there's a growing effort across the mid state to provide convenient opportunities for people to get tested quickly. COVID-19 tests are still in high demand, and now more than ever with the Omicron variant spreading rampantly. With the symptoms now, it mixes up. You can have like the simple flu, just a cold. A lot of people is getting scared just because you can have a stuffy nose, runny nose, sneezing. The symptoms just become so familiar with all the other sickness you can get during the winter. Across the mid-state, at-home tests are scarce, and so are in-person testing appointments at many locations. Some folks are having to wait days for one. No, no appointments. That's what, what's nice. You could just come up and... I thought at first there'd be a line outside, but this is nice. They have it that we can come right inside where it's warm. That's not the case at this pop-up clinic at the Wagon Works Apartments in Columbia, which has seen a steady flow of traffic since it opened up this past weekend. Something Faye Knapp appreciates after waking up with a scratchy throat. Well, I'm thankful for that because I know other places uh, where you go, you just... They really don't have anything, so this is really nice. And it, being so close, it was really nice. And it's just that easy. Scan the QR code, register, get swabbed, and get your results. The longest wait we had for most people so far has been 20 minutes. Try our best to get everyone in and out as fast as possible. Just fit their schedule. Hey, it's a lunch break. They can stop by for 10 minutes. We just get them in and out. The free community testing in Columbia runs through Friday and it's open from 9 to 4 each day. Live in Lancaster, Brian Munoz, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Brian.